Good day and welcome to this training video on Primal Pictures Perceptual and Adaptive Learning Module or PALMS. This is a powerful learning tool that simulates the spot test environment or in other words asks you to identify anatomy but it has both a learning option and an assessment option. In the learning option it's going to help you improve your identification by perceiving how well you're doing and adapting the learning quiz according to your needs and your performance. And in the assessment option, it will simulate the assessment environment. It's not going to do any perceiving and adapting, but it will give you a summary of how well you've done at the end of your assessment. You'll see that I'm currently logged into my profile, but the first time you open up Palms, it will ask you to either log in or sign up. And if you haven't yet signed up, you will need to do so with your institutional email address and password. And if you already have a personal profile, it's important that you use the same details because then your personal profile and your Palms profile will be merged and exist as one entity. The reason why you have to sign up and create an account is because this platform is giving you a customized experience based on your learning history and it constantly stores that information for you to go back to and track your learning progression. Okay, so the first thing you'll do is click on anatomy suite like I did and then you'll need to select which region of the body you want to work in and we're going to work in the thorax. And then you'll see that each region of the human body is smaller subdivided into these categories of structures to make sure that you have comprehensive learning and testing options for all of the structures of the human body. Now I've selected heart chambers and pericardium. Just starting off with the layout of our page to orientate ourselves, we have some instructions which will go over the information I'm going to give you now. The assessment option and the learning option. On the right hand side we can move between the um, categories or groups of structures within the thorax that we could work through and if we wanted to move out of the thorax and go back to a different body region you could just click back next to anatomy. And then at the bottom we have our insights and scores which will help you interpret how well you're doing but we will work through some of these examples once we've done a learning and an assessment uh, example. So let's start off with learning. It's going to ask me if I want to continue where I left off because I've already got some previous history here in the learning module and that's fine. Now this question will time out just while I explain how this quiz works and the algorithm in the background. So this learning quiz is where it's going to perceive how well you're doing and adapt the learning quiz according to what you know and what you don't know. And it's going to help you master each structure. So what do we mean by master? Let's say the right ventricle, for example. I need to get this right ventricle correct or accurate, and I need to get the answer correct in a short period of time, which shows that I'm confident about my answer. And I need to do that three different times from three different angles with three different cases of relational anatomy. So the quiz will constantly change and move the model around so that we're thinking critically and we can identify this ventricle from different angles or different approaches. And once you can get it right those three times, it's going to recognize that you've mastered that structure and for most parts remove that question from your question bank and focus your learning questions on structures that you have not yet mastered. So let's work through a few examples. There's asking me to identify the right atrium. Lovely, I got it correct in 4.5 seconds. Now it's asking me to identify the right oracle. Lovely, correct in 4.5 seconds. So now what happens if we get a question wrong? Over here, it's asking me to identify the serosal pericardium, but I'm going to accidentally say that it is the fibrous pericardium. And you'll see that it's giving me feedback, it's helping me learn from my mistakes, it's telling me that I'm wrong and what the correct answer is, 
And now it's going to remember that I got this wrong and it's going to keep asking me the structure after some other structures though, um, but it will keep going back to that structure until I have mastered it. Okay, but I think that gives you a good idea of how this learning quiz works. So let's now close that off and go interpret some of our learning history. So firstly, at the overview section of Insights and Scores, you can see how much time you've spent here, how many categories you've viewed. So each category is an important structure that you need to learn how to identify. And you can see that I have mastered six out of eight of the categories or structures. In the learning history, you can see every question you've attempted and your accuracy and fluency for each, but this is a little bit overwhelming and doesn't summarize how I'm doing. And that's where the categories option comes in. Here you can see all of the different structures that I need to identify, how many times I've attempted them, my accuracy and fluency for each, and you can see which ones I have mastered and which are still in progress. So here I can identify that my weak points in my understanding are the right ventricle and the serosal pericardium, and I need to continue to focus on those until I have mastered them. Okay, so that's the learning option. Let's now go through an assessment and test our knowledge. You'll see that this assessment quiz looks very similar to the learning quiz, but as I work through these examples, you will see that it is not going to give me feedback on whether I was right or wrong. So I know I got that previous question wrong. I'm going to now get this one right, and I know it's right, but it's just going to move on to the next question and not give me feedback. What it will do is at the end, it will give me a summary of how well I've done. And by that, I mean it's going to give me my accuracy or a percentage mark for what I have obtained. And then it's also going to give me a mark for my fluency, which will give me an idea of how confident I was in my answers. So there it says, thank you, you have completed this assessment. Now I can go back to the dashboard and if I go to assessment history, I can see how well I did. So today is Thursday, the 9th of February. Oh, the question that I thought I'd gotten wrong, I actually got right. Um, so for this one, you can see that my average accuracy was 100%. So I did very well in this assessment and I was very confident. But you can see all of the assessments that I have attempted in the past and I can track my results there. Okay, but that brings us to the end of Palms with both the learning and the assessment option. A really great way to improve your identification of anatomy and test your knowledge. I really hope that this has been helpful to you and this is a very powerful tool that I would strongly recommend using. And with that, I will say goodbye and wish you all of the best with your future adventures in Primal Pictures.